Welcome to the chapter Food Components. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Now, let us learn about the essential components of food. Food has many different components such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Each and every component has its own function in the growth protection of our body. Water and fibers are also present in the components of food. The packed food items also contain essential components. For example, observe the given food packets in which the food components are listed. In order to test the components present in the food substances, let us perform a small activity. Here, let us perform an activity to test for the presence of starch in food items. Click each tab to know more. Take a piece of potato, cheese and bread in three different petri dishes. Take iodine solution and a pipette. Place the iodine in the pipette. Now, add few drops of iodine solution directly onto the pieces of potato, cheese and bread. Observe and record the changes in color. Dish 1. Potato Iodine tones from red color to blue-black color. Dish 2. Cheese Iodine does not change its color. Dish 3. Bread Iodine tones from red color to blue-black color. From this experiment, we learned that if starch is present, iodine solution turns into blue-black color. If starch is absent, iodine solution stays in red or yellow color. Now, let us learn about roughages or dietary fibers. Some of the food components that are necessary for our body are called roughages or dietary fibers. We obtain more roughages or dietary fibers from plant foods. Our body fails to digest roughage food because roughages are a kind of carbohydrates. Functions of roughages It helps in regular bubble movements. It prevents constipation. Sources of Dietary Fibers Everyone must eat sufficient fiber foods in their daily diet. The dietary fiber food includes fruits, vegetables, wheat, cereals. Some kind of roughage sources in vegetables include sweet and plain potato, palak, pumpkins, carrot, peas and many different kinds of beans. Roughage fibers in fruits include apples, banana, papaya, berries and pears. Generally, we eat some fruits by removing their peel. Example, banana, orange, etc. But some fruits like apples, grapes and berries are eaten along with their peel. Most of the vegetables we eat are also cooked along with their peels. Example, tomato, brinjal, peas, etc. Some special dishes like chutneys are also prepared without removing the peels. Example, mango, lemon. Do not discard or remove the peels of vegetables and fruits because 
they contain nutrients. Peels also contain fibers which help in digestion. Before eating or preparing, wash the vegetables and fruits thoroughly in salt water because nowadays farmers are spraying many pesticides on them. Now, let us learn about necessity of water. Water is an essential component required by our body. Every day, humans must consume certain amount of water to survive. About 72% of our body consists of water. Water keeps our body hydrated. Functions of water It supplies a vital nutrient to the life of every cell. It regulates our internal body temperature through sweating and respiration. It forms saliva. It helps in flushing waste from our body through urine. It lubricates joints. It acts as shock absorber for brain, spinal cord and fetus. It protects heart from shocks. It controls blood pressure. Most of the fruits and vegetables also contain water. Fruits like watermelon and strawberries contain 92% of water. Vegetables like cucumber have 96%, radish 95%, tomatoes 94%, green cabbage 93% water. Now, let us learn about the balanced diet. The food that contains all the food components like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and nutrients in proper proportions is called a balanced diet. So, to maintain a balanced diet, one should eat green salads and vegetables every day. If a person takes dal, rice, rotis, green vegetables, small quantity of oil, then all the food requirements of the body gets fulfilled. To maintain a balanced diet, food must be cooked in a proper manner. Food items should not be overcooked, reheated and also no washing after cutting them into small pieces because the nutrients present in them will be lost. Food items like cereals, pulses, milk should be taken adequately. Cooking oils and animal foods should be taken moderately. Fruits, leafy vegetables and other kinds of vegetables must be taken plenty. Vanaspati, ghee, butter and cheese must be used sparingly. State the presence or absence of food components for the given food items by dragging and dropping the respective options onto the table. Explanation To have more energy, body growth and balanced diet, we need to take the food which consists of all group of components like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. State the presence or absence of starch, proteins and fats in the following food items through a drag and drop activity. Explanation As we all know that food items contain all the components of food. We need different proportions of food items like carbohydrates, proteins, fats for our growth. Growing children and young people need more protein-containing food like milk, meat, pulses, etc. 
we also require some other components of food like vitamins and minerals in small proportions to keep our body healthy. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Select suitable answer from group B for group A and drop it in the bracket provided against it. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can Follow up work. Take up the following activities. Collect the list of food components taken by you yesterday and discuss with your teacher whether your food contains all the group of food components. Collect different types of food materials like milk, potato, ghee and test for the presence of starch in them. Make a list of food items taken by you during lunch. Try to mention the components of each food item. Prepare khichdi with your mother's help using all kinds of available vegetables, dolls, nuts, etc. And write a note on the process of making khichdi. Make a list of food items that contain all the components of food. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test.